Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Christ is the world's light, he and none other. Born in our darkness, he became our brother. If we have seen him, we have seen the Father. Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's peace, he and none other. No man can serve him and despise his brother. Who else united us, one in God the Father? Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's life, he and none other. Sold once for silver, murdered here, our brother. He who redeems us reigns with God the Father. Glory to God on high. Give, glory, give God the glory, God and none other. Give God the glory, Spirit, Son, and Father. Give God the glory, God and man, my brother. Glory to God on high. We do well to sing your name most high and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O most high to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, and on the ten-string lyre and on the lute with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works! How deep are, the, are your designs! The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive. They are doomed to eternal be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My eyes heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and, and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are, are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. We do well to sing your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. I will create a new heart in you and breathe into you a new spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you 
and make you live my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will create a new heart in you, and breathe into you a new spirit. On the lips of children and infants, you have found perfect praise. How great your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands, put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beast, birds of the air, and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <sighs> Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name! You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. On the lips of children and infants, you have found perfect praise. A reading from Romans chapter 12. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will what is good, pleasing, and perfect. The Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. The Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. He dwells in her. She will not falter. His loving presence will be with her. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, He who is to come into the world. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, He who is to come into the world. My brothers, let us praise Christ, asking to serve him and to be holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Let us acclaim him, Lord, you alone are the Holy One. You desire to experience everything we experience but sin. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. You called us to love perfectly. Make us holy, Lord Jesus. You commissioned us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let your light shine on us, Lord Jesus. You desired to serve, not to be served. 
Help us, Lord Jesus, to give humble service to you and to our neighbors. You are in the form of God, sharing in the splendor of the Father. Lord Jesus, let us see the glory of your face. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, your son honored St. Martha by coming to her home as a guest. By her prayers, may we serve Christ in our brothers and sisters and be welcomed by you into heaven, our true home. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.